so this is a quick revision of the second chapter of your general science acids bases and salts so let's start with acid so what's an acid an acid is any hydrogen containing substance that is capable of donating a proton or hydrogen ion to another substance arrhenius is a scientist and who described the definition of acid as any substance that when dissolved in water increases the concentration of hydrogen ion that is h3o positive ion and this type of chemical substances are called as acids so acids are proton donors or they are electron acceptors some common examples of acids like h2so4 sulfuric acid hcl hydrochloric acid or you can see ch3cooh now properties of acid so basic properties of acids starts with the first one that is acids always test sour the word acid comes from the latin word you can see this acidity which means sour acids can change litmus from blue color to red color aqueous solutions of acids conduct electricity acids react with bases to form salt and water acids can release hydrogen gas upon reaction with active metals such as zinc aluminum iron etc acids can be classified into two main categories they are strong acids and weak acids so what are strong acids strong acids are those which can break down completely to give off many hydrogen ions in their aqueous state but weak acids on the other hand will be completely opposite to the strong acids that is to say the weak acids will partially break down in the aqueous state and they will give less number of hydrogen ion in comparison to the strong acids so what is the basic difference between the strong acids and weak acids strong acids have more hydrogen ions and less that is weak acids always have less number of hydrogen ions in their aqueous state some common acids strong acids as well as weak acids so in the first chart we can see some strong acids strong acids like sulfuric acid formula is as 2so4 hydrochloric acid hcl hydrobromic acid hbr hydro iodic acid hi nitric acid hno3 or perchloric acid hclo4 similarly some weak acids we can see in the next chart the weak acids like acetic acid or carbonic acid and their formula acetic acid that is also called as the vinegar is formula is ch3cooh and carbonic acid is h2co3 so we have seen in the first list the names and formula of some common acids but strong acids and in the second chart we have seen the some weak acids now what are the uses of acids acids have numerous uses some of them are number 1 hydrochloric acid say for example you can see in the first one it is present in our stomach and it maintains the acidic medium in the stomach which is necessary for digestion of protein in our stomach so without this acid we can never digest protein in the stomach second you can see sulfuric acid it is used in the car batteries and it is also used as drying acid in our homes we have inverter and in the inverter batteries also have acid and that acid is also sulfuric acid we can get another example nitric acid and this is used in the manufacturing of fertilizers chemical fertilizers it hyaluronic acid is used in the food industry fatty acids are used in the soap industries while making soaps ascorbic acid is used in medicines and so on bases after acids now we are coming to bases bases are those chemical substances which can release hydroxyl ion oh is negative ion in their aqueous solution 
bases are proton acceptors means they can accept protons that means they will accept hydrogen ions bases are electron pair donors they can donate one pair of electron and the least resist that is restrictive acid base definitions examples of some bases like sodium hydroxide NaOH magnesium hydroxide NgOH2 calcium hydroxide CaOH2 properties of bases bases are bitter in taste bases are slippery or soppy to taste bases can turn acidified red litmus into blue color their aqueous solutions conduct electric current and bases react with acids to form salt and water and we call it is as neutralization reaction classification of bases like acids bases can also be classified into two categories like strong bases and weak bases a strong base is a basic chemical that can release hydroxyl ion in maximum amount they will release hydroxyl ion in maximum amount only in a condition they should be in aqueous state means they should get dissolved in water only under that condition this is possible common examples of some strong bases like hydroxides of alkali metals like sodium and potassium so sodium potassium calcium etc for example sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxides are some examples of strong bases we can see a chart below where we will find some strong bases and their formulae potassium hydroxide KOH barium hydroxide BaOH2 then we will see cesium hydroxide CSOH sodium hydroxide NaOH in that way you can see this chart is available and in this chart all the strong bases and their chemical formulas are given next we will get weak bases so weak bases will be opposite to the strong bases weak bases are those basic chemicals which can release hydroxyl ion in less amount when they are dissolved in water common example of weak bases for example sodium sorry ammonium hydroxide NH4 OH some examples of weak bases are ammonia NH3 then methyl amine CH3NH2 pyridine that is C5H5N ammonium hydroxide NH4OH just there is a mistake in this chart this is strong base written but instead of strong base it should have been weak base preparation of base is not necessary for your class 10 syllabus so we are skipping this slide we do not require this one now uses of base sodium hydroxide which is also called as caustic soda it is used in the manufacture of soap it is used in petroleum refining in making medicines in the paper industries for making paper pulp etc it is used in making rayon which is a synthetic fiber second use you can see calcium hydroxide which is another base it is also known as slag lime this is used to neutralize acid in water supplies in the manufacture of bleaching powder as a dressing material for acid burns as an antidote for food poisoning in the preparation of fungicides and in the mixture of whitewash it is mixed with sand and water to make a mortar which is used in the construction of buildings it is also used by the farmers on the field to neutralize the harmful effects of acid rain third base is ammonium hydroxide it is used to remove the ink spot from the clothes and to remove greases from the window pans it is used in the cosmetic industries then alkalis are used in the alkaline batteries generally potassium hydroxide is used in such alkaline batteries most of the batteries use acids but there are some batteries where bases are also used so there is a difference between that is uh, alkali and base you see actually all alkalis are some bases but all bases are not alkalis because 
when a base dissolves in water then under that dissolved state the bases are called as alkalis but all bases never dissolve in water therefore all bases cannot produce alkali salts when hydrogen ion of an acid is replaced by a metal ion then what is produced is salt is produced for example we can see this sulfuric acid in aqua state which is an acid reacting with a base this is sodium hydroxide and a oh and then they are producing sodium sulfate plus water this is a neutralization reaction in this neutralization reaction the acid sulfuric acid is reacting with a base and the product formed is called as salt so how is the salt produced the salt is produced when the acid and bases are neutralizing each other and then a salt is produced here sodium sulfate is the salt and generally salts are crystalline in nature and another example of such salt is common salt also called as table salt which is NaCl properties of salts most of the salts are crystalline solid salts may be transparent or opaque some salts are transparent light can pass through them and some are opaque most of the salts are soluble in water. Solutions of salts conduct electricity. Salts conduct electricity in their molten state also. Salts may be salty, they may be sour, they may be sweet as well as bitter. So this is very interesting. Salts are not always salty. Some salts are sour, some are bitter and some salts may be even sweet. Neutral salts are odorless and salts can be colorful. Classification of salts, there can be three types of salts like normal salts, acid salts and basis salts. Normal salts are those salts which are produced by the reaction of an acid and bases in the normal neutralization reaction. For example, sodium chloride, copper sulfate, potassium nitrate, calcium carbonate, etc. But acid salts, these are the salts which are formed by a strong acid and a weak base. When a strong acid and weak base combine with each other in a neutralization reaction, then the salt produced always have some properties of acid and such salts are called as acid salts. For example, sodium hydrogen sulfate or sodium hydrogen carbonate. Basic salts are the salts which are produced as a result of the reaction of a weak acid and a strong base. For example, you can see this is basic zinc chloride. That is ZnOHCl. This is an example of a basic salt. Uses of salt. Examples we are getting in this chart. Ammonium chloride is a salt. It is used in the torch batteries. Ammonium nitrate is an salt. It is used as a fertilizer. Calcium chloride is a salt. It is used as a drying agent. Iron sulfate is a salt. It is used in iron tablets. We take iron tablet or iron tonic. There is iron sulfate or ferrous sulfate is produced. Magnesium sulfate is also used in making medicines. Potassium nitrate is used in making gunpowder. Silver bromide is used in photography. Sodium chloride is making in sodium hydroxide. Also it is used in kitchen for cooking purpose. And sodium styrenate it is used for making salt. pH scale. The negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration of an aqueous solution is called as pH scale and it is generally used to express the acidity or basicity of a particular solution. pH is the measure of acidity or basicity of a solution and the scale ranges from 1 to 14. So you can see in the diagram this is the scale. Here 1 to 6 if the scale measures from 1 to 6 remember it is acidic solution. If it is 7, measuring 7, it is neutral, neither acidic nor basic. But if it measures from 8 to 14, it is basic. So here, the red colored part is starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And then you can see from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14, then the result is becoming blue. The upper part is acidic, the lower part is basic and the middle part 7 is neutral. So this is a pH scale. A pH is a way to measure how acidic or how basic a solution is. 
so in the ph scale lower the ph value means the solution is acidic or the solution is acid higher the ph value means more than 7 remember the solution is basic means the chemical is a base ph measures the concentration of hydrogen ion that is h positive ion in the solution thank you